Hi, I'm Sarah Allen. I'm a tech specialist with CHS, and I'm out here in a cornfield that doesn't look quite right. So I'm going to take the opportunity and talk a little bit about the do's and don'ts of Enlist. Uh, as most of you know, you can use 2,4-D, LV4, LV6 in corn post-emergence. Uh, usually up uh, until uh, eight inch corn and about a half a pint to a pint of LV4 is allowed post-emergence and about a third of a pint of LV6 is allowed, uh, allowed post-emergence. Um, in this case, the grower thought she had some Enlist left in his tank. Everything else that he had in his tank, uh, he'd been spraying Enlist soybeans. Everything else that he had in his tank was labeled for corn. So I'm going to spray this corner of the field here and uh, you know see if I can you know can't get rid of some of it in my tank. Well as you can see Enlist the choline salt of 2,4-D is quite a different formulation and it's got to be uh, only sprayed on Enlist tolerant corn post-emergence. So it's got to be Enlist traded corn that spray post-emergence with Enlist. If it's normal corn not traded for Enlist then it is not allowed at all, not even like 2,4-D, LV4, LV6, Enlist is not allowed to be sprayed on untraded corn post-emergence. Otherwise, you get uh, your typical 2,4-D injury with the leaning of the corn. Um, it also, as I'm gonna pull up here, it also is it's, uh, very brittle. It breaks off very easily, so if you got a good windstorm that comes through, it's going to be uh, pretty detrimental to the uh, to the crops. So, I uh, just wanted to take this opportunity, point out the differences, and make sure that uh, people read the label before they use it.